video is gonna be a long time. Like, a whole lot. I hope you guys are ready. Just watch my subscriber count just go down. Hi guys, this is Tao and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a first ever chit chat get ready with me. Um, I haven't done like an actual chit chat one in a long time so I figure it's time to do one. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. I just woke up, well, I got up, I like watched some YouTube videos so it's now like 6 o'clock and I actually have to go into the office today unfortunately. So I'm just like putting my face on. Do any of you ever take forever long in the morning to just like wake up? For me, I physically get up at like 5.30 because that's when Brian leaves for work. And I like get up with him and I like pack his lunch and whatnot. And then I like watch YouTube videos and walk around like a zombie waiting for the caffeine to kick in. So I give it like a good half an hour before I even have the motivation to sit down to like get ready for the day. I already moisturized my face. I'm using the Physicians Formula Organic Wear CC Cream. My shade is in light medium. Um, somebody requested a uh, one brand review on the Physicians Formula products and I will film that shortly and that's going to be up and I take a Dunkin' Beauty blender and kind of buff it in. It's a really casual day so I mean I'm not too worried about it. By putting on anything you're already doing better than like 75% of the population here. <laughs> we are still one of the worst stressed cities in the country. Well, I guess casually dressed, but I need to get a haircut because my hair it has been getting kind of stringy. You know, it's kind of past, it's kind of past my boobs, like on my rib cage. And when you, when your hair gets long, I call that almost like sister wives long you know because it's like super long it, it's bound to get a little stringy so and you know how people recommend like oh get your hair cut every six weeks six to eight weeks f that nobody has time for that i just i just don't know it's been so i've been so busy lately because with the house and like we begin my like naturalization for citizenship process so everything is just just like all clustered together so things have been super um, just hectic lately and of course at work you have to take care of the dogs and I know I'm not the only one I'm sure everyone's life is super busy but it's just like when it rains it pours you know so I got the CC cream on now begin the concealing process which is super important I'm taking the it cosmetics bye bye under eye corrector in medium um, I feel like all their corrector work for me. It doesn't matter if it's light or medium because it has a salmon undertone to it. So I just put it on with my ring finger and then buff it in with the Dunkin' Beauty Blender. And highlight with my NYX HD Concealer in Fair. A little down my nose. Something that's been super exciting is us, you know, finally getting our offer accepted um, on a house. For those of you who don't know, one of my, one of our, Brian and I, um, goals for 2015 is to get a house in Bellevue, Washington. Currently, we live in Seattle and um, he owns a place here. He got it when we were just started to date, so um, he likes, Brian likes the city life, so it's kind of like right by downtown Seattle. And I prefer the suburby, quiet area because I'm an old person. <laughs> um, so the concealer is on now, I'm kind of wanting to set everything. I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Sandstorm. Just quickly set it. It's really light. It doesn't really have that much coverage. Just to mattify a little bit. And then taking the e.l.f. Studio Press, Studio Press uh, powder in cocoa. 
angle brush. This is the Elf angle brush, and this is just for contouring. I'm assuming you guys know how to do this. If not, just watch me. We have been trying to look for a place in Bellevue for almost a year now, and it's been getting extremely f frustrating just because, um, for those of you who don't know, uh, real estate market in Seattle and Bellevue area has been just like through the roof lately. Um, you know, Amazon's base here, Boeing, Facebook, well, they all have offices here, and then we have Google, you know, all those tech companies, and especially Amazon in the Seattle area and Microsoft in Bellevue or Redmond, I guess. Like, those companies are just booming and they're getting all these different type of tech people here and because those people are really highly paid they, and they want to live somewhere close to their office which I don't blame them it's driving the real estate prices in Seattle and Bellevue um, and I think Seattle the real estate market went up like 10% last year or something and I know Bellevue went up 15 and um, you know, people are waving everything. And this is go off on a tangent, I'm not even getting ready right now. But I'm using the IT Cosmetics Spy by Pores Airbrush Bronzer. I recently got this, I have an IT Cosmetics haul. I purchased it with my own money when they were doing a sale. So um, I've been just trying out a lot of their products and so far I really like their Spy by Pores collection. So I'm just doing the bronzer to add a little bit more color to my face. And again, this might be something you guys already know, but um, I certainly didn't know this when I started a house hunting process. So in Washington, or at actually in areas where real estate is is booming, such as um, New York City, San Francisco, um, I guess LA downtown area, the, and now Seattle, you can't simply just make an offer. Like in Miami, you know, you want to buy a house, everybody bid, right? You give your highest offer and that's it. You get one price. If you have com competitors, you know, the listing agent or the seller can come back to you and say, hey, you, somebody's competing against you, putting another offer. Um, give it your all and that's it. Here in Seattle, San Francisco, New York, where it's really, really competitive. Not only do you have to make a starting offer, you have to add an escalator, which means it's kind of like bidding on eBay. Item starts at $5, okay, I put in $6, that's my bid. And then you add the escalator, Who, whatever the next person bids, the higher bid is, I'm going to exceed by like, you know, a dollar or 50 cents or whatever, right? Um, up until I have a cap. So the cap is typically, nowadays, it typically is 10% higher than the asking price. So if a house is asking for like 500,000, right? You are not even going to touch that house until you are in that like 550 range. So it's just been super crazy. The house that we made an offer on, it started showing on a Friday. Friday night, right? The house came on the market. It had open house on Saturday and Sunday, and they review all offers on Tuesday. Which means, when you put in an offer, you have to pretty much waive everything. Like the house that we put an offer on, we paid for an inspection on that house before we even made an offer because we want to make sure that when we put in the offer, we can waive inspection saying, okay, we, we did an inspection, we know that things are okay. And then I'm taking the It Cosmetics uh, the Airbrush Blush Stain in Love Story, which is kind of just like a pinky shade. And that's my blush. It's really pigmented. I don't think it stains, but it's just... It's just a really pretty color and it blurs out the pores, so I really like it. And then it Cosmetics Airbrush Illuminizer. It's a loose, that's a little product on the little puff, so I'm just using it. So yeah, so the house that we um, are getting came on the market on Friday. It had open house on Saturday and Sunday. 
it had like 70 or so open like people come in like with their agents and whatnot and it had uh, 12 offers and so we our offer got accepted and in this market they show you the competing offer just because you are adding an escalator you know you want to make sure you're not bidding against like a ghost buyer you know how on eBay sometimes you're like people are unethical and they're like bidding against you and they know they're not gonna buy so they have to show you the competing offer and the couple that we beat out they are willing to waive financing contingency which means that if they don't get the loan they will pay cash for it and you are seeing that a lot like a whole lot with um, Seattle and Bellevue market people are just coming especially international buyers they just come in they pay cash for everything and you see like a million out of the house and it's gonna go for like 1.2 million and people pay cash for it I don't know it's by sheer luck and how awesome our realtor is that we ended up getting accepted like our offer got accepted because the competing offer is pretty much better in every way except our ending price is a little higher so we are so excited so not right now we're just going through the loan the actual the closing procedure which is super stressful because you never know how much paperwork there is until you actually go through the process it's ridiculous ridiculous so now I am going to curl my lashes so the face is pretty much done I don't know how people can do like those get like chit chat get ready with me because I just like I guess I can't multitask I, I mean, I just went off on a tangent on real estate and recently I've been putting like the waterproof mascara immediately after I curl my lashes so that it stays curled because a lot of times I tend to curl my lashes when I start my makeup process and then I'm just so that, you know, it, I don't ruin the eyeshadow or whatever afterwards but then by the time I actually get to my lashes um, they've drooped because I don't have anything, I didn't put anything on them to hold the curl. So now I just put a coat of waterproof mascara so they're curled and then I move on to the eyeshadow process. So today I am starting out with the L'Oreal 24 hour infallible those eyeshadow. This is in Bottomless Java, a dark bronzy shade. And I'm just putting this on my lid. It doesn't have to be super precise or anything. It's just a base. Hot mess. Wow. This is a hot mess. And then I'm using the NARS Duo in Indian Song. They have a matte ivory and a deeper bronzy shade. It almost has an olive tone to it. So I am going to use just like a eyeshadow paddle brush. I'm taking the bronzy shade to pop the access and layer this on top of the bottomless java they're pretty much the same color so by putting the bottomless java on it just emphasize the shimmer in the product a little bit and it acts as a base so the color go on more vibrant you just it's kind of like you're just putting the eyeshadow on top of the cream and then I take a fluffy brush like that actually no, I want to take some more this is by Scott Barnes it's a crease brush it's a little bit more tapered and then I'm actually going into the bronzer I'm taking a little product here and use this as a transition shade yeah so now we're just working on getting all the paperwork ready we are already pre-approved so now it's just like actually going through the loan process and it's just it's so much work y'all i don't even know if it's worth it like when brian bought his place it was like a simple transaction because he was one of those cash buyers and now because the interest rate is so good we want to take out the money right we want to take out a loan but it's just like i don't understand why they make it so difficult for people to get a loan and i mean I'm actually pretty good at like not finance stuff but like I know what is my mom does real estate um, she invests in real estate and 
because of her, I've learned a lot about real estate. So compared with a lot of people, um, I know more, I, sh I should say. I'm not bragging about it by any means. I mean, it's not anything to brag about. But I feel like compared with the majority of population, I know I'm more familiar with the real estate process. Still, it's just even when you know the process, even when you know what type of document is expected from you, it's just it just gets more and more difficult every time. It's like, okay, well, you don't have money. You, you can't get anything. If you have money, you have to prove where you got your money from and it's just like hey if I have money I have money okay like well I don't I, I we don't have money but <laughs> I'm sorry guys I don't even know why I go I don't even know why I go off on a tangent <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and take my Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeliner in black and I'm just going to tight line and then go ahead and work on my eyebrows I'm just using the uh, Wet n Wild Fergie. This is in Photo Focus. I'm just using the dark brown in here. You can use any brown you want. And then I'm just going to do my eyebrows. I don't do anything special. I just fill them in because my eyebrow hairs are pretty fine. But yeah, my mom was like, Oh, why are you? Why did you already? Why did you already tell people that you are getting the house? Like, don't you want to wait until you get the key so then you know things for sure? And I'm like, if I don't tell people, I can still back out, you know. But like, because the house buying process is such a pain in the ass that, and we don't need a house, we just want one. This is classic, like. Brian called this broker at a, at a higher level. Because it's not something we need, it's easy to say, hey, this is way too much trouble. If the process is not worth it. Like, I know it's a good investment idea, but I just, it's way too much. Like, it's not worth it. So I feel like if we don't tell people, we can just back. Now, since we told people, like we told you guys, we um, told our friends, everybody knows we can't. Like we have to go through the process, so in a sense, it forces us to be diligent, it forces us to be responsible and follow up with people and all that, so um, in the end, it's going to be good. And then after that's dried, I'm going to use the NYC, this is the High Definition Volumizing Mascara. And a little bit on the bottom lash line. Same thing. I'm just going to put the dark brown just on the outer third and just kind of sweep it in a little bit so it has some definition but not great. Mascara. And for lips, I don't know what I want for lips. For lips, I'm just going to wear a balm. This is the Soap and Glory Great Kisser. This is in peach. Looks like that. It. My face is done. You want to close up? You want to close up? You don't want to close up. I'll just change and like do something to my hair even though I don't know what to do with it. I never know what to do with my hair. I don't know. I'm just gonna put it up in a bun and change into not hoodie and sweatpants. I hate wearing real clothes. I hate wearing real clothes. I hate wearing real clothes. But I have to. That's a part about being an adult. But I'll put off wearing clothes for as long as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this super random, super chatty, get ready with me, talk about real estate that probably nobody else cares about. So lesson learned today, do not talk about real estate in get ready with me videos. Do not do super chatty, get ready with me videos because I go off on a tangent. And thank you guys so much if you're still watching this. I applaud you. Thank you for being a trooper. And um, let me know if you guys have any requests. I will also sporadically post some block sale items or like Insta sale on my Instagram page. It's I am great below my 19. So give this video a thumbs up if you actually enjoy Super Chatty with me. Get ready with me. And subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye bye. So the color I have on my lips is natural beauty like I mentioned and I blot it a few times.